little embarrassing to talk about it because it's not politically correct. I mean, I know it was supposed to be like in a bath, you know, with Saul Graves of the Dead Sea, Beyonce playing, me loving my woman self. I know the story. You know, vaginas are beautiful. You know, the the self hatred you feel is an internalized repression and hatred of the patriarchal culture. It isn't real. Pussies unite. I know. I know the story. Okay. I mean, if we had grown up in a culture that taught us that fat thighs were beautiful, then we'd spend our days stuffing our faces with burgers and donuts and gulping down milkshakes, laying on the couch, thigh expanding. I would, we did not grow up in such a culture. I hated my thighs and I hated my vagina even more. I, 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 I honestly felt it was, it was incredibly ugly. I was one of those women who looked at it and from that moment on wished I had not. It made me sick. I, I, I pitied anyone who had to go down there. So in order to survive, um, I just began to imagine that there was something else in between my legs, like furniture, you know? So I'd imagine cozy futons with soft cotton comforters, you know, pretty leather velvet settees, or just, or just pretty things like satin handkerchiefs, quilted pot holders, you know? And in fact, I got so accustomed to the idea that I had no memory of there being anything else in between my legs. So when a man was in me, I just imagine him in a Chinese bowl or in a mink lined muffler. And then I met Ajay. Oh boy. Ajay was one of the most ordinary men I'd ever met. Okay, he was tall and thin and nondescript. Um, did not particularly like continental food, did not listen to Prince. Um, did not care for sexy lingerie. In the summer, he spent time in the shade. Uh, um, he, he didn't share his feelings or emotions. None of that. Didn't particularly have any problems or issues or uh, was not an alcoholic. He was not particularly funny or articulate or mysterious. Uh, he wasn't mean, he wasn't unavailable, he was not self-involved, not charismatic, didn't even drive fast. I didn't particularly like Ajay. <laughs> I mean, I would have completely missed him had I not met him in the deli and he was handing me over his change, my change, which I dropped on the floor. So as he was handing me back my rupees and coins, our hands just accidentally touched and something happened and I ended up being in bed with him, okay? And that's when the miracle happened. Turned out that Ajay loved vaginas. He was a connoisseur. He loved how they uh, smelt. He loved how they felt. He loved how they tasted. And more than anything, he loved how they looked. He just had to look at them. Like the first time we had sex, he said he wanted to see me. And I was like, oh, well, Ajay, I'm, I'm right here. And he said, no, I want to see you. And I sort of turn on the light because I'm thinking there's this viewer in my room and I'm freaking out in the dark. And uh, he said, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to see you now. And I'm like, Ajay, I'm right here. And then he begins to undress me. And I said, Ajay, what are you doing? And he said, I need to see you. I said, no, no need. Just, just do it. And he said, no, I need to see how you look. I need to see what you look like. And I said, well, you've seen a red leather couch before. He just wouldn't listen. He had to look. Okay, I wanted to throw up and die. And I said, Ajay, this is just too awfully intimate. Can't you just do it? And he said, um, no, it's part of who you are. I, I need to see you. And I just held my breath. And he looked and he looked. Oh. And he got all breathy and his face kind of changed. And he didn't seem ordinary anymore. You know, he seemed passionate and he seemed like this hungry beast. 
and he said you're so beautiful he said you're elegant and deep and innocent and wild and i said you saw all that down there <laughs> it was as though he was reading my palm okay and he said yes i saw this and so much more and he just looked for what seemed like an hour as though he was studying a map as though he was observing the moon <laughs> as though he was looking into my eyes only it was my vagina and in the light i i i watched him looking at me and i i i he looked so genuinely excited like so so euphoric and peaceful you know that i began to get all wet and turned on i began to see myself the way he saw me and i began to feel beautiful and delicious like this great painting or like a waterfall ajay was just not afraid he wasn't grossed out and i began to just swell and feel proud and i began to love my vagina and ajay was just lost there and i was with him in my vagina <laughs> and we were gone <laughs> we were gone